Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Pixel Shadow Extreme Survival Server. And let's just go ahead and dump this stuff here. Got some apples, let's go ahead and toss those in the food chest. There's actually a lot of foods in here still waiting to get processed. Um, that kind of is what it is. Unfortunately with the food nodes, they have to be item injected. The same thing with the ores. Because if I do a whole stack, and I try to get a second stack in here, it's going to overflow and just creates problems. So if I do it item by item, it works okay, and everything processes and gets cooked. As far as sorting goes, that can go by stack no trouble at all, because a whole stack can be sorted immediately. So I should have some rubber leaves showing up in here. No, wait, never mind. Those leaves should be going to the teleporter tube and should be showing up in here. There they are. Um, unfortunately, I don't know why this thing... Yeah, I did not want that. I wish there was a way to make it work with groups. Because, let me tell you, that would work a gajillion times better. But, alas, there's no way to do it. So, it is what it is. Uh, in this episode, I think... Well, I should do something with this floor. I really need to decide what I'm doing with the floor. Um, I have absolutely nothing. I'm going to grab some stone tile here. And I'm just going to fill this space in. Whoops. And I don't have a pickaxe on me. Uh. Oh, wait. I think I put them in one of my bags, didn't I? Yeah. There we go. Um. Yeah, let's just toss that back in there. So, either I should be doing something with the floor. But I don't really know what I want to do with the floor. Uh, I need some more sorting tubes, but I don't know if I have the materials for those. I think the big thing I need right now is uh, either more batteries or more ways to uh, store power. Because, as you'll notice, that's running out of juice pretty quick. And that's because it's grinding up all these wheat seeds, it's cooking all this flour, it's, well the fl making flour doesn't cost anything, but it, just the cooking of all the flour and the grinding is using up all my juice. And then here I did build a new grinder and furnace, and those are both ready to go. And uh, yeah, so either I need to make some more solar arrays, which would be nice to do, but I don't know if I uh, can really get that squared away here. I need glue, I need silver wire, and I need doped silicone wafers. I have one of those, I got some of those. I know you need gold dust, you need, I think, coal dust and sand? Do I have any sand? I don't think I do. So I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you need a silicone wafer, which is sand and coal dust. So I need a bunch of sand in order to get these. And uh, that's pretty much it that I really need from that. The glue I can easily get. That's saplings. I don't think I have any. Well, I actually have 36, so I have a decent amount. But I can easily get more. I have plenty of saplings. Um, silver wire. I think I have a lot of silver in here. Yeah, I have, I can make tons of silver wire. And that'd make me one of those. Then to make that, you need three of those. Carbon steel, copper wire, and a low voltage transform. I have all this stuff. Copper, I'm getting a little low on again, but I have everything. But then to make the medium voltage, I need three of these. Which means I need nine of these. And uh, a wire and some stuff. So that's going to be kind of a tall order to complete with the materials I have on me. I could potentially make a, another MV battery without too much trouble. Uh, low voltage batteries are pretty inexpensive. Just need rechargeable batteries, just wood, copper, and tin. Now, again, I'm pretty low on copper. That's, it's always copper. So I guess that means uh, 
it's time to head to the hills, right? And by hills, I mean caves. Wow, that meat is actually really good. All right, so let's let's armor up here. I need sand. Uh, I definitely need weapons to protect myself. And it would be a good idea to bring a torch along. Or a lot of torches. Something like that. Oh, I have two sand. Ooh. Okay. Um. I feel like... Yes. In a cave. Beautiful. And let's see what there is right over here. I see something yellow. Is that gold? I don't know. Indeed. Indeed it is. One gold lump. Beautiful. Now, unfortunately, there are monsters all over the place. That would love to do nothing more than eat me. And there's that giant lava mess. Is this silver? Don't know, but I'm going to take it. It is, which is fine with me because I do need silver. Uh, I probably don't really need the coal. Not too much anyway, but I'll take it. Um, well, it's kind of a big pit to fall into. I think that was tin. Nope, it was more silver. That's that silly quartz stuff. I have no use for that. Um, you know, I do need coal dust to make materials. It's part of the silicone wafers. So I guess I'll I'll grab what I can of it, because it will definitely get used. And I really need copper though. That's that is pretty much the one thing that this trip is for, is copper. So where would I find copper in this massive cave system? Well, you know what, I don't know. So I'm just going to have to do a bunch of exploring and, you know, get into all sorts of scrapes and get a lot of tin, which I seem to do quite frequently. Ooh, hey, copper. Beautiful, beautiful. And I think some iron back in here. Very nice. Iron's good, too, you know, because I need that for carbon steel and cast and everything like that that may have been uh it wasn't silver oh well Ooh, um is this mies crystal i think it is it's not too useful when it comes to uh technic but uh you know definitely good to have around to make weapons and tools with or uh, travel nets. Those come in pretty handy as well. Um, I think that's really... Well, and um, Mescon wires. I haven't used Mescons really very much at all in my current setup. But uh, I have on other occasions and other servers built more Mescon stuff. So... The ability is there. Just the need is not the need is not very great with how I have things set in my current layout. It Well, actually I do have some. Now that I think about it a little more. The uh, whole system with the auto running of the fuel fire generators that uses Mesocons. And, uh, that's actually kind of about it. But yeah, I do use it. So, I can definitely use the wires. I wonder if I can make stairs out of marble. Either via the circular saw, or just in the crafting grid. Because those could make for nice flooring nodes let's see here and eh, probably not what about slabs though 
whatever. Let's just do it this way. Nope. Hmm. Well, I'm going to grab them anyways. I like the way they look, and they mine super fast. So, what is... Are you kidding me? That little silverfish bug did that kind of damage to me? How did he even hit? Like, the amount of knockback that thing had is crazy. For something just a little bug. Boy, he kicked. Or whatever he did to give me that knockback effect. In fact, I believe I shall indulge and some bread, uh, mainly because I'm super hungry for unknown reasons. I'm guessing the mining. You know, it burns a lot of calories. Good way to lose weight, which IRL I'm trying to do. And I'm sure, you know, making YouTube videos is a great way to lose weight. Kidding, but not kidding. I am trying to lose weight. Not that I'm like morbidly obese, but uh, I'd like to lose like five more pounds. And no, it's really none of your business how much I weigh. But because you asked so nicely, I'm 175. And yes, you can use that information to steal my identity. Uh, how? Well, do you really think I'm going to tell you how? That would be very, very, um, not, I'm not, what's the word I'm looking for, not immature, it would be very, very unwise to do. Like, they'd be like telling somebody how to break into your house. Like, oh yeah, here's a key. Oh, and by the way, by the way, that key unlocks my front door. So now you can break in my house, except you're not really actually even breaking in. So I pretty much just gave you a key. But yeah, you know, it's, it's from my front door. Um, yeah, so uh, sure, there you go. That would just be dumb. As would telling somebody how to steal somebody else's identity with only knowing their weight. I feel like that's not possible. But I feel like there's somebody who'd actually think they could do that. And would probably try, too. And then feel like an idiot when it didn't work. They'd actually probably be the kind of person who would come back to you and be like, Hey, yeah, so uh, I tried stealing your identity with your weight, and uh, it, it didn't work. So could you explain what I did wrong? Or they would just be like super mad and curse you out and be like, You good for nothing? You told me you could steal your identity if I knew your weight. And I tried and it didn't work. And you're just like, okay, and you thought this would actually work? You are what is wrong with the world today, because you're so dumb. Because it takes a special kind of dumb to think you could actually do that. 14 copper. I need a lot more than 14. I don't need any of this lead, but I'm taking it anyways. And... I can't see. It's a combination of the fact that, uh, ooh, hey, nice. Combination of the fact that it's dark down here and that the sunlight is, uh, shining on my screen, rendering about uh, a third of it invisible. And that's better. That's why some genius invented uh, shades. So you could close them. You could draw the shades. And not have the sunlight shining on your computer screen. Boy, that guy was a genius. I hope he became a millionaire. Not that, uh, of course, I would ever buy anything he was selling. But, you know, he deserves to be a millionaire. Because that was a pretty good invention. I, w I would just make my own, you know, I wouldn't buy something from him. That would be a waste of money. I would just ghetto rig something, like throw a blanket over a stick, pound two nails in the wall, tie a rope between them, and hang a blanket on that. Good enough, gets the job done, right? 
no reason to spend 20 bucks on a prefabricated fancy schmancy looking spring loaded roll of blinds why is it so light right oh because of that of course ooh i forget what that is but i think it's something useful zinc why do i feel like a zinc is for oh stainless i think you use zinc and stainless chromium and no chromium and zinc wouldn't make stainless but you do use zinc for something i just don't remember what it'll come to me eventually probably when i need it next time but i'll have it so all is good i see some copper up here but i don't know if i can reach that i must scale the wall almost there Ooh, hey this is perfect copper chromium copper 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 oh boy that's uh it's a pretty good haul still probably not enough Ooh. grab that Ugh, lead is so useless but i take it anyways because i'm greedy Ooh, what is this clearly somebody's been here before due to the fact that there are torches that somebody was probably me. But maybe not. Okay, uh. Does this look familiar? I don't think so. Not particularly. But there's coppers, so. Uh, it's, uh, it's definitely a. Uh, a good thing that I took that path. Um, yeah, let's see. I thought I saw some over here as well. Was iron there? I thought. Maybe not. Maybe not. I thought I saw some, but. Don't see it anymore. Must have been something else. Ooh, what is this over here? It's like a. Well, I'm not interested in that. I'm interested in this. Gold, lead, more lead, some steel. Iron, rather. Steel is a processed material. I'll take the lead. The only time lead is of any use is if you're building a nuclear reactor. Which, uh, are not enabled on the server. Because some dummy had to go and take the chernobylite I don't think that's really how it's pronounced but uh, it's the nuclear waste that is produced when the reactor melts down and they decided oh I'll take this out of creative inventory it was on the creative server and I'm just gonna dump it all over the place and I've probably shared this story before but you know maybe you didn't hear it the first time or it's just such a fun story to share that I'm sharing it again and it took uh, like four or five of us and by us, I mean admins and moderators going out there with uh, diamond armor to try and clean it up. And you would pretty much die in like two seconds, even if you were eating apples or whatever you had. You know, it is creative, so you can just grab anything out of inventory. But if you were eating stuff and punching the nodes too to break them, again, it was creative, so you could just punch any node to break it. And you were pretty much doing like an alternating punch click. Didn't matter. Still die. Wow. I'm almost dead again. Wasn't sure if something was punching me or if that was just starvation. But I think that was just starvation. Uh, I wanted to mine that, actually. There we go. My pickaxe is just about broken. So that might mean it's time to end the episode. But what is in this cave? Hmm. A bunch of copper. Ooh. One of those guys. Hey, where'd you go? Wait a minute, what? Bro, what are you, how are you? 
What is going on? How are you hitting me? I'm confused. How did that thing even touch me? Alright, well, um, you know, this shouldn't take too long. Just, uh, a few more clicks here. Um, there we go. Woohoo! I have one diamond. I have no way to repair this on my person. But there's so much good stuff here. My axe will break if I mine it. I am going to go ahead and set a home position here. And then go home using that home position. And then, let's see. Granite, all the cobblestone, the marble. That all goes in there. All my ore is going here. Let's get this stuff all processed up. Yep, you too, and you. Um, money actually goes in there as well. And, uh, oh, get some more bread. Hey, it's almost done processing through those nodes. The wheat fields is still not ready to be harvested, but I think the berries have a partial harvest ready. Go ahead and grab all of these. And honestly, it would just be faster if I put these berries directly into the chest in the basement. The only time that the whole sorting thing really is a huge benefit is either if you are sorting stuff like I'm doing all the, the cobble and things like that, or if you're actually processing the nodes. If you're just taking food from up here and shoving it into a chest down here, there's really no benefit. You may as well just manually chuck them all in. It saves on time. Okay, and let's see how things are going here. We've got some Mies crystals. Those are not grindable. Hmm. I think we need a... Uh, a something to take the Mies and put it into here. How would I do that? Well, because it goes through a tube here, I could use a sorting tube right there, put it right to here, and use a one-way tube there. And by I could, I mean that's what I'm going to do. But do I have the materials I need? I don't know. One of these chests has pipework stuff in it. I just didn't have a sign on it to label it. Here we go. Okay, so I need some pneumatic tube segments. Yes. I need some one-way tubes as well. Let's see, I need some sticks. I need some plastic sheets. All right, and let's see. I think I need these. Let's find out real quick. All right, we want a sorting. Let's go ahead and grab one of those. Thank you very much. And the one-way tube, uh, I should have all of those. Yes siree. Yes siree, Bucktooth Billy Bob. Okay, so we want the one-way tube right there, which of course is facing the wrong direction, so I need to screwdriver it the right way. Um, um, that's actually not going to work. Mm. I don't think it will. Nope. Well, that's dandy. Um, it's a one-way tube. Can't I break that by hand? Okay. Yeah, it won't connect to this at all. Great. Uh, well, <clears throat> what's my other option? My other option is to put a tube there. Uh, yeah, that's the wrong way, but thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Uh, you're, you're getting close, but still not quite, not quite there. Um, yep, that's better. Okay, this will work now. Uh-huh, and I don't know why those are messed up. There we go. 
we want a tube there which connects to that a tube there and then that we need to break real quickly and put our sorting in and black should take let's turn red off let's just put a and get in there did not want that crystal fragment crystal and blocks if I had any which I don't at the moment so those are the two items hey what do you oh my bad and put it in the wrong spot okay so let's chuck this stuff back in there and discover I don't have enough space for everything so what should I remove well this shouldn't really have paper in it. It shouldn't have any of these machines. Uh, it shouldn't really have that stuff at all. Or that. Or this guy. Or the chainsaw. Or that, I suppose. So where do I put those? Well, the best place would be probably in another chest. Let me see here. Where's my wood? Oh, yeah, it's all sorted. That's right. And it's right in here. I'm going to need two of those. My, thank you very much. I don't, oh, I do have enough. Okay, perfect. And then I just need a piece of iron to lock this. Um, iron to lock. And then surround it with iron to make it the next size up chest. Wait, what? Isn't that the way you do it? I thought it was. It has to be cast iron. Really? I don't have enough cast iron to do that. Three more. I think I still have fuel sitting over here. There we go. Lots of fuel. One bottle should be more than sufficient. That battery is fully charged. That's good. And I should run back upstairs here. And throw these copper ingots. Whoops, wrong chest. Throw them back in there. Ooh. Diamond actually can't be processed either. Can it? No, I don't think so. So the black tube here should also filter out diamonds. And I guess nyan cats. Not that I expect to ever find too many of those. But, you know, it's best to cover your bases. To have a system in place that will protect you if you boof I'm gonna do that and that and then that there we go all right so ooh this is not gonna work oh man it's gonna shove everything in there I don't want that um, I guess I can do this, though. That works. Nope, doesn't. Connects to the food chest. Definitely do not want that. Okay, well, this is going to just be ores. I don't know, where did I put this technic chest? I guess I'll just shove it on the wall here. Doesn't really make a huge difference. Okay, so this is all Technic things. That's used for Technic. Um, that's a Technic. That's a Technic item. Mm, I think that's honestly it. Because I think glue... I think that's actually a Mesocons thing. Mesocons materials. Yep. Uh... 
raw latex, rubber fiber. Those are actually both technic things as well. And I should probably go ahead and make another locked one to put all the Mescon stuff in and get some more signs and get this stuff all working. But now that I have this, I may as well install that and take these guys and pop them in place and put that in place as well. So now those can sort things. And okay, so that's everything that I have being sorted out. Let me run upstairs. Do I have any marble on me? No. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I just want to see if this can be processed by these circular saw. Nope, nope, I can't. All right, well then that is not an option for the floor, because whatever I'm using for the floor does kind of need to have a step option or a slab, one or the 